Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to do some acrylic nails on myself and I wanted to show you guys everything from start to finish. So today's look, um, for today's look, I just wanted to do something bold and bright. So I used some of my Glitter Bells acrylics in the shade Dragon Fruit, Hot Flake, and snowdrops white to do a bit of marbling and I really like how this set turned out so the first thing I do with any set is I just start by prepping well and I don't grow a lot of cuticle so um, maybe you won't see a lot but here I'm just using my ethyl bit from I think Aliexpress and I've had this for a while now and I can say that it is really good so I do recommend you get yourself some cheap bits from Aliexpress if you are just starting off. And I just use this bit to go around my cuticles. Um, and the e-file I'm using is from Macart as well. And I just do that in a forwards um, direction. So now I'm just snipping off any cuticle that I may have. I don't have a lot, but I'm just taking off what I can to ensure that this set does last. These cuticle cutters are from my local beauty supply store, um, so I can't really link this one below since they don't have a website, but um, any cuticle cutters will do, they're just fine, just find yourself some on Amazon and they will do the job. So next I'm just taking my Rosalyn nail buffer on the 180 side and I'm just buffing over those nails to remove the shine. Um, I would say go in with um, a slightly more rougher side, not such a fine side if you want your nails to last really long. I didn't want mine to last too, too long, so I just um, didn't scratch the surface too much. And now I'm just taking my lint-free wipe and some acetone and just wiping that dust away. So next, um, I'm using some top coat just to kind of create a non-sticky layer which is in fact the opposite of what you want to do if you're trying to make the nails last. So for these nails, I kind of just wanted to try out this um, color because I wasn't sure about the dragon, sh dragon fruit shade, which is the really hot pink because I've never done it before. So here I'm just putting on some top coat just in case I don't like the nails and I want to pop them off. Next, um, I'm using my press on nail tips that I use to make press on nails. I do sell press on nails if you're interested. I'll put a link below for where you can purchase any press ons. And these full cover clear coffin nails are from Amazon and these are amazing. I've been using these for a couple weeks now and they do have a really nice um, apex area as well which is really really nice and the sizes um, are really good I was I have a, I have a perfect size for each finger including my pinky finger which is extremely small so um, I was glad that I could find a size for that one so next you'll see you can see that I'm using my nail glue in like a little container because that nail glue just it just falls every single time so I don't recommend you buy that just buy one of those ones in the squeezy bottle um, the long thin like cylinder ones and here I'm just sticking on the nail and Bear in mind, if you're going to use this um, method of using top coat, it will take a while for the glue to um, adhere onto the nail because the surface is um, nice and shiny and smooth instead of being um, matte and scratched. So here I'm just going to repeat the same thing. And once I have all of those on, I'm just going to get my um, nail cutting scissors I think these are called and I'm just gonna try to cut these when you're doing this try to have the blade away from you I just find that it's easier that way um, and I'm just cu cutting them to my um, desired length and these are pretty inexpensive you can find them anywhere Aliexpress eBay Amazon just anywhere really and they will do the job just fine you can also find them in a lot of like nail kits as well so if you're looking to buy nail kit there's there's more it's likely that you'll find uh, get one in there so next i'm just taking a nail file and i'm just filing the edge of the nail i like my nails to be nice and straight on the sides i don't like curvy nails 
so here because these coffin nail tips are quite were quite curvy um, because I stuck the tip on at the at the top part of the nail at the tip of my nail so it ended up looking really curvy so I just got some scissors to cut the edges to save me filing time and that worked out great um, I have bought some nail tips like actual nail tips that you are you're supposed to stick on the end and they work really 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 good so I'm glad I got those I'm gonna be using them in my next video so do look out for that and here I'm just making sure that I file everything and it's just the shape that I want it to help me reduce my filing time afterwards. And the scissors I'm using are nail scissors, you can use, you can find these, um, you, sometimes you can find these in like the beauty department of your store, like as like eyebrow scissors or whatever, it, like it is in, the, in like the little kits, sometimes you get them or you can find nail kits as well, like the tiny manicure ones as well, so those are pretty easy to find and the file I'm using is from Aliexpress on the 80 grit side. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm using the Glitter Bells um, Hemma Free Monomer and my size 8 Kalinsky brush and this is just from a local beauty supply store, the brush, so I won't be able to link that but I will link the Glitter Bells website down below. Her products are absolutely amazing and this monomer is so so good. I've tried out like a cheap um, monomer that you'd, that you'd just, that I found and it wasn't good at all it just set my acrylic up so so quick and I had no time to move with it but with this one you'll see that um, it, it just made my application so so nice and smooth and as a beginner myself that really helps me it just lets you move your acrylic around and it's like nice and soft and just easy to move so I really enjoyed doing this set it was just such a breeze Now I'm using Hot Flake, which is the pink and gold flaky premixed acrylic, and I really like this one. It's um, it's just so pretty. It's like in this clear pink jelly almost, and it's just so so stunning. And it was like I think my second time using it, and I think here yeah, I was doing like um, a fade. So you'll see that in a minute, and I really really enjoyed this part. The next shade that I'm using, I think, is called Peachabelle Soft. And on this nail, I'm just doing a full nail of Peachabelle Soft because this was going to be the cloud kind of nail. And I thought, let me try one bead, but it just ended up becoming so. It, it was just like a such a bulky nail, and I. It just made me laugh because, I don't know, I just thought that it would come out <laughs> the way I imagined it, but it didn't, so it just made me laugh a bit. But in the end, but um, I just rely on filing when something just looks really bad and bulky, so yeah, thank god to filing. So here I'm just doing a bit of marbling, grabbing a tiny bit of, bead of that pink, and then going in with the white, which is called Snowdrops White, and I'm just running my brush through and I found marbling with these colours and this brush to be so easy. Um, I It came out really really nice. I would say my marbling needs a bit of work though because the lines are kind of all over the place. I would like them to go in more of one in, a, in one direction but it's okay for what I've learnt so far. So now I'm just fixing some areas, adding some pink and some white in areas where I feel like it needs it. I'm 
Now I'm just adding a tiny bit of hot flake in some of the areas just to add a bit of sparkle when this nail hits the light and I really liked that one as well. And now for the ring, uh, no sorry, <laughs> for the pinky finger or the baby finger I'm just going to have it the same as the thumb. I always like to have two nails matching, usually the first and the last finger but it's up to you if you would like to do that um, I just like to have at least two nails matching so it looks like a set to me and it brings it all together so yeah this um, using this pink was really really easy I was kind of intimidated by it flooding or it just running up everywhere and just not going into place because it's so bright it would just really show so um, luckily that didn't happen and I can definitely see my acrylic skills improving as well I would say a good tip is to just invest in a good monomer um, at least because that would really help you maneuver your acrylics around and when you have more control it's really really helpful so now i'm just capping all the nails with clear acrylic and that's their glass slippers and this acrylic is so is like the easiest to work with it's just smooth and it goes everywhere you want it to go and I'm using the body of my brush to basically smooth over the nail because that will help me, that will help ensure I have a smooth surface and reduce my filing time as well. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in pink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Here I'm just getting my nail file out on the 80 grit side and I'm just filing over the surface and going around the edge of the nail to ensure I've got a good shape and a smooth surface. Um, I did debulk these with my hand file because there wasn't too much um, debulking to do. Like I said, I used my, the belly of my brush to help smooth out and pat down that product to keep it nice and thin In some, for, for most of the nails. Um, so there wasn't much um, surface filing to do, it was mostly just shaping. So here I am just shaping and yeah they're not perfect, I still got some things to work on like apex, thickness, because um, I can tell at the ends of my nail, like the tip is, is a little thin for some of them when I do look, um, but that's something that I will, I will improve through practice and time so let me know down below if you're a beginner and if you um and what your struggles are and what you may need help with um i just want to know if we can relate so now that these are done um i forgot to show me buffing them but i did buff them with the same rosalyn 180 side buffer and now I'm just getting my lint free wipe and wiping the dust away and I'm using the Young Nails Mission Control Gel Paint in shade Fizz it's just a stunning white just very very nice and clean white and I'm just using my dotting tool a, a relatively medium sized dotting tool and creating three dots for the clouds on this nail And then once the dots are done, I just um, fill in that cloud and I kind of elongate the cloud on the edges um, because I will be blending that out later on with a brush and it will give more of like a faded cloud effect. I don't know if that makes sense. 
but I did just add another cloud in the middle and I did not like it so I just removed that really quick with my brush and this is just a gel brush from the Rosalind um, poly gel kit that I did I did I reviewed this kit using dual forms so I will link that down below it was a very interesting video and I love how the nails turned out using dual forms so if you're interested please do check that out so once those clouds have I have faded those clouds I'm just I just took out some of my now I don't know if you want to call these nail stickers or water decals I'll just call them water decals and you'll see why in a minute and I'm just cutting out butterflies and here I'm mean, you can see I'm just so undecisive indecisive and as you can see here I'm just so indecisive and I can't decide what butterfly but once I've made up my mind I'm just cutting this out and I will be basically throwing them in a glass of water so that the butterflies release nicely off the bit of paper on the side there I just had a glass of water and once I take those out I just slide off the butterfly with my nail and I just place it onto the nail that I want it now it didn't show up too well but um, so I added like a brown one so you could see a bit more and that was it really and now I'm just top coating them using my glitter bells no wipe top coat and I absolutely love the hot flake in this you'll see in a minute how it just comes out it's so so nice I love that you see how satisfying that is it's so amazing Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really, really fun to create these. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has helped me reach over 800 subscribers. I'm really close to 900 right now. So I'm really, really grateful. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, let me know down below if you love this set, if you would wear this set. Let me know what struggles you face as a beginner. And I will see you guys in my next video. Sorry, I also forgot to mention that I applied some cuticle oil really, really quick. So, sorry about that. But yeah, here I'm just applying some cuticle oil and I just rub that in around the nail so I can get it ready for pictures. And that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.